Hi, this is Welcome back to the channel. So today is actually a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And yes, but before we start, make sure you do subscribe so you can be part of the G-Squad family. You know, the family is growing. And also make sure you turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And make sure you do follow me on all my social media platforms. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll put it on the screen and the link will also be in the description box down below so make sure you check that out. And yes guys, thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers. My name is Gislaine and we are the G Squad. So yeah, before we get started, let me make sure you guys already can tell that my eyebrows are done. These are not my eyebrows, so my eyebrows are done. And um, yeah, so let's get started. First, I'll be using um, Pons. To moisturize my face and it's the one for a dark spot so I use it as a moisturizer just a little bit and I moisturize my face with that. I have a mirror right here so yeah. Even though I have um pretty even though I have pretty um pretty um, oily skin. I uh, I try to moisturize my face every time I put makeup as well. So everybody should be moisturizing their face. It's not just um, people with dry skin that moisturize. And as you guys can tell, my hands are pretty ashy, so but I moisturize my hands. I'll go in with my Becca um, primer. Yes. <laughs> Makeup primer and I'll prime my face. I like priming on my T zone, especially because I get very oily on those uh, that on my T zone. So, yeah. I'll be fast forwarding the second part of this video so the video is not super long. And um, you guys can just comment down below any type of if you guys. I wonder what type of product I use for any type of any of these the steps I'll be doing on this video. I use my beauty, my damn beauty blender to go in with one more pump of foundation is in order for me to like not be using the leftover orange corrector on my brush and to just use a plain um, sponge with my foundation on it to even out my skin tone so I don't look orange. Okay? Okay. Go back in with my damn beauty blender. Make sure you let the concealer touch your eyelid as well, because you go in and set it with your um, setting powder for as your base for your primer, for your as your base for your eyeshadow. This is baking. I will go in and do my eyeshadow. I'll go in my beauty place shadow, and I'll be using the um, burgundy color as my crisp color.
powder on my sponge and I will just dab a little bit so I'll put my shadow. Okay, I've done that before actually but I'm in it now. And I'm gonna use the same shadow brush and just pass it over where I put the powder. So my eyelids are primed and I'll continue with my burgundy color on the crease of my eye. So if you skip a step while doing your makeup, you can always catch up. Okay. Now that my crease is ready, I'll go in with my glitter primer because I'll be applying glitter. And then put it on my lids. I like using my finger to like spray all around. I'll be applying the, lid, the glitter and since it's a Valentine's Day look, why not go in with red glitter so I'll go in my beauty glaze this is broken palette and I'll be using the red just right here So now that I'm done applying the glitter, I'll go back in with the burgundy I was using to make sure there's no mark of demarcation between the crease and the glitter. dark shade and use it right here light handed <laughs> I'm going to use, I'm using them. 
they come like this, like a pack of five, and you can reuse them. And they're like ten dollars for sale. If you want the link where to buy them, make sure you comment down below. None of the lashes have joined the party. We're now gonna go in with my mascara. Yeah, this mascara, and I apply it so they can blend in well with the falsies. Now I apply my bottom lash. I forgot to go in with the burgundy color on my bottom lash. So I didn't do that. Slightly. Now I'll get in my mascara. Find out the bottom lash. That. I'll be using this um, foundation powder, a very dark tone. Um, it's a mineral powder, ebony color, ebony. I'll be using it as my contour. Now I will use my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. Um, highlighter to literally like put it wherever I highlight it so it can be pretty shimmery on that part and now I'll go in with my setting spray the slick by Urban Decay, shake it and spray it all over the face. So it doesn't look too powdery. And now guess what we are getting ready for? Bam! Fenty Beauty. I just got it today literally, I was so excited to do it. I've been trying and using their um, ginger, bench, and Moscow Mule. I don't know how that's, this is how you say it. Highlighter for today's look. So before my face gets completely dry, ooh, looks beautiful. So before my get, my face gets completely dry, I'll go in with this brush. It's a bit fluffy at the end, and I'll just use Moscow. Tap it and use it at the high point of my cheek. Ooh, fancy coming through. Shoot, I'll use that soon. Because this baby. I need more. Let's keep going. Now I use my fanning brush to make sure it's really everywhere. I didn't add any product on the fanning brush. I'm just making sure it's spraying everywhere properly. Yes, 
hand. See? So now let's move on to the lips. I'll be using this Black Radiance lipstick color. It says 5040. 5014, I mean. Let me get my lips. Because I had a, a gloss on my lip. And it's brand new too. It was just for this look, guys. Now I just put a little bit, right? And then put a little bit of lipstick. And now I'm going with this uh, lip print pencil. And line my lips. Once again, this was a step that I almost forgot. I'll add more lipstick. If you know me, you know I don't like when my lipstick is not matte. So this is the. And now I will use this Super Shock eyeshadow from ColourPop. I also use it as a highlighter, so I will use it, and I'll use my pinky. To just use it on my keep it well. and that is all. I use the brush I used to move the powder, and I just go over it all together. Make sure everything is blend well so there's no harsh line. Anyway, that's what I'll do at the end. And I'll add, after I do this, I'm, I'm, I'll apply my setting spray once more. And that's it. Now, I don't put too much. The last time I apply my setting spray, I don't put much because it's just to make sure everything is set and will stay in place, okay? So, yeah. So this is the end of this Valentine's Day look makeup tutorial. So yes guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something or you like this tutorial and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below in top of video you'd like to see next and definitely don't forget to subscribe okay welcome welcome g squad best squad welcome to the channel and you guys already know we are having a 5k giveaway on march 6 which is my birthday that is if we reach 5k subscribers by then i know we will i hope we will and i believe so so i'm speaking it into existence by march 6 i should be having a great a huge giveaway because it's my birthday and because we're going to be reaching 5,000 subscribers by March 6th. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Thank you for clicking on this video and watching this video. Make sure you also follow me on all my social media platforms so you can keep up with me on my everyday life. That's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'll write it here on the screen. And also, it will definitely be in the description box down below. Thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much. And yeah. Hopefully you like this this look. Happy Valentine's Day to all my lovers, my single people out there. Everybody, okay? This day is for everybody, not just for people that are in a relationship. So yeah, happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. And hope you guys are going to have a blessed and awesome rest of the month of February. Bye, loves.